you are a Tony Robbins fan or you love learning in business, then this episode is for you. Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 192 of my TV which I am hyped about today because I am about to spend five days virtually unfortunately with the legend that is Tony Robbins. Now probably this episode is going to be complete marmite because you either hate him and you hate the American like hands in the air dance music getting pumped or you love him and you love everything he stands for and you know if you don't know Tony Robbins then I'll pop some links under here you should google him you should search him out because for me he is an awesome um thought leader and just a, a like inspiration of what is possible in life so I am, I should say that I am in 24 hours time, I'm going to do business mastery with Tony Robbins. It's a five day course. It is virtual. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to report back on it in this episode. Um, but around four years ago, I did Unleash the Power Within with Tony Robbins and it was a game changer for me. I absolutely loved it. I've never had such a impact on a course or something that I've paid for than I had them when I did Unleash the Power Within in London. So that was like 2018 possibly. So um, he's got five courses that he does and Business Mastery is the one that is completely focused on you and your business and achieving what is possible with it. So Tony Robbins has around 70-ish businesses, I think, across completely a wide spectrum of industries, turning over six billion, I think. He is the biggest advocate of lifelong learning. If there's one thing I have been very aware of every single day, sometimes to my detriment, because I beat myself up about it too much, but since 2008, when I knew I wanted to turn my passion for being a PA into a business, is that I did not know everything at all to run and grow a business and you'll know you have to wear every hat and you have to you have to take yourself to new places to understand what it's like to grow a team and a culture and so learning is I mean I love it as well I'm definitely a complete learning geek I love buying a business course I love going in a mastermind I love learning from and being around other people in the same room but I'm very aware that I have big dreams and ambitions for my business if I want to take them to where I want to go then I need to learn from people like Tony who have walked the walk, taught the talk. And it's not just about on this level, you know, it's people around you locally, it's other people that have grown a business who can teach you and help you as to what you don't already know. So uh, yeah, I'm about to dive into um, an apartment in Manchester for four nights because it's on US time zone, starts at two o'clock in the afternoon, finishes at two o'clock in the morning. Not good for, for, uh, for home life. So. I'm going to report back on exactly how Business Mastery goes. Day five of Business Mastery, I had every intention of um, filming my summary of all of my takeaways and wins at the end of every day. And the last four days have been challenging from a sleep and time zone perspective. So uh, day one, so this is Thursday night, Friday morning, ended at half five Friday morning, day two ended at half four Saturday morning and on and on. And honestly, at that point, I was lucky if I stayed awake till the very end. Um, don't like, don't let me put this, put you off doing a Tony Robbins course on Zoom because it is absolutely tremendous. And I'm really looking forward to day five, which starts at two o'clock this afternoon. So um, to keep my word, I couldn't film at the end of every night because I was absolutely zonkoed. But what I am going to do is a roundup of each day and what was amazing about each day. And just a quick takeaway for you. Day one was predominantly Tony. And we talked about that winter is coming, which if you read the news, watch the news, I do not. But winter is definitely coming and there is going to be a recession. And by next April, March, things are going to be very different to how they are now. But that doesn't mean that as a business owner, you can't thrive. And this is what Business Massey was all about, was about thriving through winter because spring always follows winter. And it's about prepping yourself to absolutely, th people always thrive in a recession. 
number one, feed your mind for 30 minutes a day, every day. So this means replacing that news and social media scrolling with listening to a podcast, an audible book, watching something on YouTube. Like if you don't know of Tony, I would highly suss out his videos. Listening to stuff that's going to feed your mind. Like loads of people are successful and thriving throughout challenging times. Listen to them, listen to their stories, listen to their advice. So 30 minutes a day. Turn off the rubbish content, get the good stuff into your brain. Two, strengthen your body every day. Like it is an actual fact that if you are not physically or if you don't, not physically fit, but if you don't look after your body, if you don't, you, you need to use energy to get energy. Like if you don't look after your body, you're not going to be in, like it affects your mind, it affects your mental health, it affects how you make decisions, it affects how you cope with rising levels of stress and fear around you. So strengthen your body every single day. Three, find a role model. So um, this can be somebody locally. So if, for example, I don't know if, you, if you're a coach, you might know a coach um, that you like aspire, like their business is booming, they have a niche nailed down, they have real clients that you would love. Like it, may, it might be, again, it might be Tony. Like he's a great role model for me, as he says, success leave clu leaves clues. Find somebody in your life that you can learn from. Spend time with his point number four is proximity is power. So the people that you spend time with, you know, give me the five people you hang around with and I'll show you your lifestyle, what you earn. Like it, it impacts you so much, the people that you spend time with the most. So three and four is to find a role model. And this doesn't mean having to pay somebody money to get advice. This might just be watching stuff of theirs online it might be somebody locally that you know that you'd like to chat to about their experiences how you know and people are always willing to help so people that you can learn from and hanging around with people that are on the same journey as you the same ambitions the same path so important for keeping your head in the right place and number five, give more than you expect to receive. Always when you give more. And this is not just about financially, whether it's advice, help, time. It comes back to you in spades. And now more than ever, we need these five things. Day two of Business Mastery featured um, Keith Cunningham. And he is absolutely phenomenal. He, he's written one of my top five books that I always recommend which is um, The Road Less Stupid, definitely get a copy on Amazon or Audible because it is just like these short, sharp chapters of the most amazing lessons in business. It's very different to any business book you'll ever read. Definitely get a copy. And his whole session, which was most of the day and evening, uh, in my case, most of the night, was around um, your accounting and reading the data correctly. But the key thing, quick one for you to take away is that everybody reads their profit and loss as the main document that their accountant gives them. And if you've ever looked at your profit and loss, made a profit, been quite pleased with it, and then still don't have the money to pay the wages at the end of the month, the big difference is that you cannot spend your profits, but you can spend the operating cash in your business. So now more than ever, as times are undoubtedly turbulent economically, focusing in on the operating cash in your business. If you don't know what that is or how to look at it, ask your accountant. They should be sending you a cash, like a statement of cash every month with your management accounts as to basically, there's very simple terms, how much cash has come in and how much has gone out. And you always need more coming in than what has gone out because when it's the other way around, you might physically on paper look like you're making a profit but there is no money to spend so focus in on a session every week on how do i convert where is my operating cash is more money coming in than is going out ask your bookkeeper to send you a statement of cash and speak to them about it it's so important on to day three day three of business mastery had todd hartley owner of Wirebuzz, awesome, awesome session, really, really implementable stuff about video. Um, so 88% of people will spend longer on a website if it has a video on it. So it's really key. But the one key takeaway is that if you have any kind of follow-up process with new inquiries, with people that you've sent quotes to, pricing, people that might buy, you have to have to include video in that follow-up process. Whether you're an electrician, whether you're the owner of a multi-million pound business and your sales team needs to do it, whether you're a solopreneur coach, in the follow-up, having your phone on landscape mode 
with a selfie light with very very just simple equipment and using a piece of software which he recommended and i've recommended many times on my tv before is called bomb bomb so b-o-m-b b-o-m-b dot com it'll pop up on the screen bomb bomb even ralph likes it don't you ralph um really really amazing for sending videos to prospects and and it gives you all the data on when they've seen it how often they've watched it if you implemented bomb bomb today and even if you don't like video just your face online to say if you've got any questions um explaining maybe a little bit more about the quote explaining some details around like why it's like about your business the service you provide just even if it's just two sentences to say hey emma here just checking you got my quote hit below to book a call or ask any questions. That is enough for somebody to connect with you and know that you are about something more, that they see your face, that they connect with you and feel feel more compelled to buy from you. So if you do anything, please implement Bomb Bomb. Day four of Business Mastery had lots of Tony Robbins, lots of Scott Harris, and a lot of Steve Wynn, who owns Wynn Hotels. So they are casinos, hotels in Vegas, Macau, lots of sexy places. He spoke for about two hours. The guy's about 80 and most of his conversation and chat was around about making your team and employees the shining star of the organization. Because when they have lots of self-esteem, when they, they feel confident and empowered to come to work, then your customers will be taken care of. And just one really interesting thing that he said was that they never had employee of the month in any of his businesses. So, um, because naturally he said that he felt like team leaders who would speak to particular team members more than others, they would be inclined to give it to them. There's recency bias so that he said, just not necessarily lots of great things will happen in your business and you won't know about it. So every, in every department, in every one of his businesses, his hotels, his casinos, they have a pre-shift meeting and the team members are encouraged and asked, okay, tell me something amazing that happened today. Any good like success stories? Because lots of things will happen in your business that you don't know about. And you have to give the people in your company the opportunity to, to talk about them and be rewarded for them. So pre-shift meeting, um, every single day in the morning. So like a bellboy, for example, might say, oh, somebody forgot their makeup. So we went to a particular department store and got it for them. Or somebody, their taxi didn't turn up. So we took them ourselves. Or, you know, like they would, they would communicate little success stories that were things they could have, a, have power over and they could affect themselves, but their customers loved and nobody might have known about it if they're not actually asked. So quick takeaway, what and when do you give your team members the opportunity to talk about great things that they've done or great things that they've happened? Steve Wynn did it on a daily basis, which I thought was really interesting. And he's obviously a multi, multi, multi-millionaire. On to day five, where I am looking specifically more tired than I am right now. See you then. Well, it is 10 to 4 Monday morning in Manchester. I uh, just coming towards the end of day five of Business Mastery with Tony Robbins. Um, it has been absolutely tremendous. Maximizing the sales process, like the small levers that make big big um you know like small small hinges swing big doors like uh, them optimizing the sales process and knowing the financial dials you need to be looking at turning twisting uh yeah it's been absolutely awesome i would highly recommend it i highly recommend tony anyway i just wish everybody could try a little bit of tony because i would absolutely eat my hat if most people don't get something really amazing out of his teachings um i hope this has been a helpful for you